Baron Swafford? I guess I'll ask the same question. What, um, what, what have you done to get to this point? What, what, what's been the key for you? I'm um, just staying consistent every day and disciplined mainly. Uh, you know, as a lot of people know, I had that surgery uh, last year. Um, it was a grind to kind of, in a different way, where I had to focus more on recovery for a while um, and keep my mindset in the same place as, you know, what it was and focusing on winning a national title uh, this year. And, um, yeah, just staying consistent is the biggest thing and coming in every day and improving, finding uh, something to prove on. Yeah, McCall, it's from Des Moines Register. Uh, good to meet you, Brennan. Um, just when I got on the beat this summer and stuff like that, I went through all your, you know, learning about you guys and everything. I think one thing that caught my eye about you is you're an art major. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you talk about that passion and just why you, that was kind of the right path for you? Um, yeah, it's, I've always been like really into video games ever since I was little. And I've always liked, preferred art classes over like other classes like math and like history and stuff like that. Not that I'm bad at them, it's just, I've always preferred just the arts uh, as far as classes and stuff go. And when I was deciding on my major in high school, it was like, well, I really like playing video games and uh, I'm competitive and it's a competitive field, as you guys know. And uh, I'm good at like creative stuff. So like, let's look at some stuff that uh, would fall into that category. And uh, graphic design is what I eventually settled on. Um, and this year I'm doing an entrepreneurship certificate since I graduated and got my degree in that last year. So yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff. Do you want to go with like specifically a video game design or? Uh, that would be cool. Um, just, I, I, I want to be like, a, the ultimate goal is to be a creative director for uh, somewhere. Um, I don't really have any work, ex much work experience with that yet, but uh, um, I'm hoping to get there at some point. Um, but yeah. Hard to get there when you have to wrestle. All the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got these high goals in wrestling, so got to focus on this first and uh, achieve some of these things. Um, and it's interesting, I think like, uh, I think some of the creative stuff that I do, it, it helps me on the mat in a way because it's, it's like helps you open your mind up a bit and, uh, you know, research things in a different way. Um, so, You came to Iowa a couple of years ago, transferring in. What was behind that decision, just in wanting to come here then? Um, I wanted to see how high I could take my level. Um, I mean, obviously, Iowa, you know, these Big Ten schools, you know, were – some of the pinnacle of wrestling, right? And uh, it was nothing against like the NAIA or anything like that. It was just like, well, I have Olympic aspirations and world aspirations. Well, I got to go to Iowa, you know? And uh, it was kind of a no-brainer for me because it's so close to home. And I've always been a Hawkeye fan. And I've always loved like like the style that they have here. And, you know, the success that we've had in the past kind of uh, proves that, you know, this is a good place to be if you have those kind of goals. Um, so... I hope that answers your question. And I mean, from the NII level, you're you know you grind there. You now you have this opportunity. Yeah. I mean, how much does that mean to you to have that chance after going through the injuries and everything? Uh, it means a lot, you know. Um, in the NAI, it was like you know, it's nothing to the NAI is it's it's nothing to like scoff at, right? Like when I was at Graceland, it was like I had to like really learn how to be a more responsible adult. Uh, when I first got there, you know, I, I remember Mullins like you know, yelling at me for not listening to him when he, when he was yelling at me to, like, let a guy up in the corner. And uh, just certain things like that and, like, just mental toughness things that I didn't really have in high school because um, I was younger and uh, not as polished. But, you know, there are things I've grown on, on both, uh, in both uh, realms. So. Big crowd from Minneapolis coming in for Sunday. I, I would assume so. Um, they're a very uh, rowdy group, so. Um, I'm sure we'll see a lot of Meepo people there. You've bided your time to get this opportunity. Mm -hmm. You know, was there ever a point where you kind of wondered if it would kind of come to fruition, or have you always been confident that, you know, stay the course and it'll happen? Uh, you know, I, I've always believed in myself that I could do this. Um, you know, there have been hard times in the past where, like, you know, I, I was really close and then it, 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 was, it was taken, you know, and by someone that deserved it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've always just tried to stay as optimistic as possible. You know, there have been frustrations along the way. But uh, at the end of the day, I think I'm at my best when I'm being optimistic and believing in myself. Because uh, getting down in yourself isn't going get to you, get you where you need to be. Um, that's what I've always believed. Been in NI, 
Right. You've been an NII champion, so mm-hmm. you've gone through the gauntlet of working through a, yeah. a postseason tournament. I mean, how do you think that's going to help you this season potentially? I mean, you're having that opportunity. Um, I think it'll help in a way that I'm like used to those like high pressure type environments. Uh, I mean, Carver is going to be very high pressure, right? I've never wrestled in it, but uh, I mean, I don't think it'll be like that big of a like challenge for me to kind of adjust to that. Um, because I already have like a lot of experience in those types of environments. Uh, but I, I think I'll adjust pretty good. Um, so, you know, this team has kind of already faced a little bit of adversity and uh, some hardship here. How has that maybe unified the group? Uh, you mm-hmm. know, kind of dealing with the situation. Um, yeah, it's it's unified us in a you know like we have uh, these you know new transfers and stuff that are really really good um, and it's. You know, we're bringing in new uh, skill sets, and uh, we all kind of want to pass around like knowledge that we all have uh, from those areas. And uh, you know, it's it's we're all on like the same page now with a lot of things uh, with granted with, with what's happened. Um, but uh, I think we're all more on the same page with like like rules and uh, like like wanting to succeed. Like, if there's even more like I, I don't know if if it's just me, but I almost sense more of an urg- urgency now in the room since it's like. You know, I think we're people are expecting us to kind of maybe not do as well, but I think we're going to be awesome. Like, I think a lot of the other guys on the team think the same thing. I think we're going to sur- surprise a lot of people, and you could say that's like a tight knit thing that we got going on. So, thanks, Brian. Yeah. Uh, just about five more minutes, guys.